Hey there, welcome to the November Postman product update. We've got a lot of updates for you this month, including some major upgrades to Spec Hub and changes to Postman that tightens up your API workflow. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about API design and governance. Spec Hub got a major upgrade with several enhancements that help you keep specs and collections aligned from the start. One of the biggest changes is bi-directional sync. Specs and collections can now sync both ways. Update a collection and then push those changes back to the spec. And when you change the spec, update collections with one click. No drift and no manual exports. Next, governance reports give you a complete view of spec quality across your org. Use them to spot compliance or design issues early. That way, teams can address them before code is written. We also added support for multi-file specs. You can now break large open API files into modular components. Cross-file references and intelligent autocomplete will speed up editing, and the outline view lets you navigate between files without losing your place. And good news for teams working under EU data residency requirements, Spec Hub can now run entirely within Postman's EU data center. Now let's talk about test automation. We're making it easier to test private APIs in real-world conditions and validate releases at deploy time. Starting with internal API runners, you can now test APIs that run behind firewalls or inside VPCs. Install the Postman CLI in your environment to run collections securely across dev, staging, and production, and sync the results back to Postman. This means you can test your APIs in real-world conditions without exposing your infrastructure. And for admins, runner management gives you a centralized dashboard to monitor runner health, view audit logs, and manage access across the team. Once you have the CLI installed, you can take your test automation even further. Now you can trigger monitors on demand directly from your CI-CD pipelines. Use them as health checks or release gates to catch regressions before they hit production. You can also send monitor results straight to Slack or Teams channels. So you see results in real time where your teams already collaborate. Next, we've made it even easier to get the Postman CLI into your workflow, which you can install or update with a single NPM command. No more tracking down builds or waiting on IT to approve updates. And while testing keeps your APIs reliable, we're also making your day-to-day -day workflow faster with reusable requests. Instead of you duplicating or hard coding endpoints, you can now reference existing requests and run them in line. You can call any request stored in a collection from another request scripts to keep your tests consistent. And to make consistency visible, we've added collection status indicators. These lifecycle tags clearly indicate what's ready for use and what isn't. Apply these preset tags or create custom ones to match your workflow. These tags will be visible in the collection overview and you can search and filter for them through global search. As developers, we all use JIRA to track issues. That's why we've added the ability to create JIRA issues directly from the collection run results when a test fails. The tickets will be automatically populated with failure details and timestamps so your team can start resolving issues faster. The redesigned homepage makes it easier to see everything in one place. Your recent activity, active workspaces, and tasks that need attention. All of these updates are aimed at helping you work more efficiently. That's what's new this month at Postman. Tighter workflows, better validation, and fewer gaps between design and deploy. Try these features out and let us know what you think in the Postman community. And as always, keep it 200.